Matt, it's your man, Knowledge Born. Man, DJ Double O, we are the kids in the hall crew. Yes, sir. Right now, you're on G4 TV, checking out Freestyle 101. We're going to drop some bars. I'm going to drop some bars. Yeah. And they freestyle off the top. That's the exercise, you know what I'm saying? It's the act of improvisation. So written is forbidden. Anybody who comes on here and writes a rhyme, slap them. <laughs> For shame. <clears throat> Hello, world. Up. It's the crew, the one and only kids in the hall, your man DJ Double O, yeah. and your MC for the evening, he goes by the name of the Prince of Chicago, Knowledge yeah. Born, Get into it. Love so it. let him know. Yeah. Giant step for man, one leap for mankind. Another me you will never find I walk through the stumps and I talk with the angels Mind unraveling dope rhyme patterns I used to tell my mama I don't really think that I want to go to school today I just want to sit home and play video games That was about the time I say what Streets of rage now The lions let up out the cage The hogs out the hedges, sort of like Sonic. The flow supersonic, like my little homie Donis. And I used to be the Sonic song, Bulls versus Lakers. Now I'm heating up, NBA jamming on them. Jamming on them, jamming on the one. Knowledge born, play the one, play the two, play the three. Y'all know I'm so versatile, like KG. And I'm so damn ill. No, no job. Three out of five in NBA Live, but I kick your damn ass. Yes, sir, I was head of the class. Valedictorian, scoring on men in 10 Ken in the 10th grade. Leaving all they chest concave. Even when I'm blanker and street fighter, you will never find another rider that will be a f rider. NASCAR. Rad racer, speed racer, drink Hennessy with no chaser. I do it on the daily, like my mayor of my city, Shy Town. Second city, full fan committee. Shouts at the Fooch, Nick styling on them. Yeah. Told y'all fools, we straight style on them, wild on them. Made for MTV, but this is G4 TV right now. And we so dang fly, so dang high. Not off the marijuana or Mary Jane. This is high off life, you heard the name. N A L E D G E. Don't think you can f with me. Told y'all on any console, we could take it there. And don't think that you really is a gamer just because you got a little wee. No, no, just you got a flat screen. Well, peep it out. You can come to my crib and we can watch the travel channel on my plasma and feel like we sightseeing. And then I turn on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> Understand, kids in the hall. We everywhere. You ain't never there. Never there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In crowded stores right now. I'm Make sure school, you man. go get it. How many of y'all remember Bronx Inventions? <laughs> How many of y'all had Sega CD? Y'all did not have Sega CD. Y'all thought it didn't come out, I had it. What about Altered Beats? <laughs> you know about Altered Beats? Contra, son, like, forget all the new stuff. The old shit is the classic shit to me, man. Double dribble. Like, yeah. when you can take off from the free throw line and just, uh. <laughs> so that's what we do. Kids in the hall. Dessert. We out. It's Freestyle 101. Chicago is a unique place, you know, because you have so many, you have universities, you have so many cultures that are kind of, it's like a melting pot, you know what I mean? But the thing is, everybody was kind of divided, and I think hip-hop was the one thing that I could see in the city that brought the north side, the south side, the west side, all in one place. And there was this place, well, it still exists, Subterranean. There's an open mic there every Tuesday, and it's kind of legendary. It's like one of those places where if you if you really are a rapper and you really want to do this as a career and you don't go through Subterranean, at some point, even after you get a deal, I've seen people get booed off stage who have record deals or get, you know, annihilated by people who don't have deals. And this is one of the places you have to cut your teeth. For me, like, I really started getting into rap when I moved to New Jersey. Before that, everything was like reggae influence and stuff, especially growing up in Brooklyn. But even then, 
hip hop was as much a part of the common thread of everything as, as much as crack was. <laughs> so it, was like, <laughs> it was like, uh, you know, you saw as many ciphers on the corner or on the bus or on the train as you saw crack vials kind of on the street. There was, there was wow. two opposing forces in the 80s. Wow. Um, but then when I, you know, really started paying attention, it was probably being in like middle school and high school in New Jersey. And, you know, it was one of those things too. It was kind of, it's very much like a homeroom thing. We, we had this big parking lot that everybody would kind of get there early and just, you know, kind of form their own little ciphers and, 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 and get it popping. So back then, everybody wanted to be a part of hip-hop. They just didn't realize how they wanted to do it yet, mm -hmm. whether it be rapping, whether it be DJing, whether it be dancing, whether it be graffiti. You know, you kind of I think everybody tried their, their hand at everything trying mm -hmm. to figure it out. You know? yeah. The craziest thing for me though that I remember in terms of like one of my earliest memories of a really somebody putting me in awe in terms of freestyle was Red Man on Hot 97 and uh, it was when um, Funk Master Flex used to have like the later show so it would run like past 12 o'clock I swear I think he freestyled for like two hours two and a half hours straight just, just kept going like you couldn't just stop it that was what really put me in awe is when I really started listening to somebody with just that much information in their head to even be able to spit yeah. out for two hours straight. I was just like, wow, like this is crazy. The more you exercise that improvisational skill, it builds up. But it's like lifting weights. Like if I don't freestyle for a month and you ask me to freestyle, it's going to sound like Boo Boo Magoo, Who Are You, Two Two. <laughs> it's going to sound terrible, but if I freestyle every day, with like other MCs, you know, for a good, you know, month or so, like it gets old hat. It gets to the point where I can freestyle like easily, you know what I mean?